Good afternoon, chart nerds. Welcome back to another TA update. We're going to be diving back into Algorand today for my daily technical analysis. Uh, looking at the four hour time frame here. So, straight off the back, okay, I think I've mentioned in previous Algo videos that we've got this level of resistance above us right now, uh, potentially, which is where Algo is trying to get to because you've had this wave up, come back for a higher low of support. Okay, you've got this low here, you've got a higher low, and right now you're coming up and you, you, you're trying to attack this level of resistance that uh, we've been under for, for a while now. Now, okay, so since um, the 9th of November, you've had this level of resistance where you've come down, you've come back up, resistance, come back down, formed a lower low, come back up, and then you formed a higher low here, and you're coming back up to it once again. At the moment, are we looking for a break? Well, if you start to see, again, I've I said in previous videos, if you start to see the break of this resistance here, okay, and you come up and you start to hold this as support and look to continue and take out this local high here at around 30 cents, then things are looking quite bullish for Algo, but we do have resistance above um, other than this trend line so just to show you guys for an example here going from this low on the four hour retracing up to this uh 29 30 cent area you could see that right now what algo is doing um yes it has formed bullish structure because you've got this low you've got a high right now you've got a lot uh, a higher low okay so you come up you come back down for a higher low right now if you could start to see algo tackle out of this trend line this white trend line and equally 28 cents if algo can get above 28 cents which is the 0618 um, and, and where you're actually you, you, you're coming up to right now because you've got above the 050 okay you've got above the 27 which is great so technically you've got this sort of double bottom here you've come up you're breaking above that so it's all about tackling it's a crossroads okay you've got the 0618 at 28 cents and you've got this level of resistance as well okay so there's a crossing point right here that algo is either potentially gonna start to break out if it does break out here and hold this as support okay and hold this this trend line as support instead of resistance and you start to tackle out of 29 cents this is where you've got targets up to 32 cents bringing you back up to this high uh and an area of resistance of where you basically started forming this resistance okay so once you come to the low and start to get back above this resistance hold it as support and tackle above 30 cents then you're on your way back up to these highs of which you basically came from so it's all about breaking this key level right now this is what i'm looking out for today uh on the closes looking for a close above this resistance line and this 0618 here at 28 cents approximately um, and if you do start to, as I said, do start to come back and hold these previous resistance points and turn them to support, this is where you're starting to coil up. You've got a lovely ascending level of support here uh, and potentially you've got um, a, a large ascending triangle. Okay, we've got the low, you've come up to a resistance, come back from the higher low, you're going to come up to resistance again, come back, break this resistance, come to a higher low again, and then start to tackle out. So once you actually get above this one fib, this is where I think it can get really bullish uh, for Algo in the near short term. But first, we do have to tackle out of this resistance. We do have to close above 28 cents uh, to get any sort of continuation here moving forward. So that's basically a quick update for you today on Algo. Um, there's resistance above we need to, to, to keep an eye on this okay if we do meet this as resistance uh, potentially you've got this this high here a lower high if you come up and meet a lower high here and do start to roll down and retest this low okay it could get, get start to get very negative because you're you, you're still under this level of resistance okay and you'd be failing to break out of that and you're getting squeezed down into a corner and potentially you may come and retest these lows back in uh, early November uh, on the 14th of November sorry uh, but right now at the moment currently speaking as i said you've got a low you've got this high you've got a higher low right now if you could start to come out and tackle above this area hold it as support and break this one fib okay then this is where it can get quite bullish um for algo moving forward and you are looking for a run up to that 32 cent area back to this high um of which we, we came down from and you're, you're basically just confirming that you're on your way back up to to this level basically uh but for that to happen as i said you've got the key resistance this white trend line you've got the 0618 um, and, and we have to break that. That that's basically the, the confirmation signal there. If you start to come up and hold that, okay, and hold 27, 28 cents, that's your sign to, that, that you're looking to break out and you've got that ascending triangle in your hands. Um the bearish scenario for me right now, um, I think we've also got a bounce off the 0618 here too. So from this high retracing to this low, this is where we was looking to find support. And you can see that from 
this high retracing back down here okay guys you came up we said we was looking to f hold support on the 0618 okay and we and, and it has it's bounced off 25 26 cents and this is where you're starting to get the impulsive move back up to 29 so it's all about tackling that 29 and as i said getting back above that de that descending level of resistance that was previously in the charts but here you've done everything you've, you've needed to do to show okay this is potentially a short-term bottom you've come up you formed a higher low fell back to the zero zero six one eight you're currently on from this low retracing to this high are running into the zero six one eight on on the retracement to the upside too so it's all about breaking above that to get your confirmational signal that you're going back up to 30 cents so right now we are doing everything we need to to kind of get that confirmation but it's about this level of resistance okay that level of resistance and again this declining level of resistance here on the four hour it's about breaking above both of these before seeing any sort of uh, long-term movement okay so you've got key resistance you've got the this this trend line and equally the the 0618 on this retracement fib that you need to break through from this low retracing retracing up to this high okay you're currently running into the 0618 and this trend line so we do need to break above that moving forward i did potentially talk about an inverse head and shoulders before uh, I think what I said, well, you, you've got this left shoulder here, you've got this head and potentially you're coming down to form the right shoulder. If you do start to see the breakout of this 30 cents and do retest this level of resistance, okay, and come up and hold that and retest that, I would expect that to be key resistance. So this is the 32 cent area, 32 to 33 cents. I think that would be key resistance, but you would be forming this large left shoulder head. Potentially this is your right shoulder. And then if you get the breakout of that, you've got further targets to the upside. But again, as I said, there's a lot more, there's a lot of resistance ahead of us. We need to break this resistance line is coming down on us we have to tackle above the 0618 on the retracement to this high from this low okay you're coming up you have to break through this resistance at 29 cents to get any sort of confirmation to the upside in in ultimate effect from this what's happened is you've got this low uh, down here okay and now we're trying to retrace it as high so what why why that 32 to 33 cent area if we do get this short-term break here because you can see that you are coiling up uh on this sort of horizontal level of uh, resistance and the support so if we do start to coil up like this you come up come out if you start to break out and hold this as support for me that target up to 32 cents is is particularly uh, an eye-catching opportunity basically of around 17 percent from current price action and potentially we could see that and at that point if we did see this relief into this and we got rejected this is either where you find out this is a dead cat bounce okay or whether you're going to come back hold support and break out and basically this these are your lows so moving forward as long as we hold support here and don't start to lose this ascending support that we've got for ourselves on the daily and we tackle above this uh, 29 cents on the daily too you're confirming you've got a double bottom okay an ascending triangle and you'll have a breakout target to these highs up here at which point a decision will be made as i said to come back and hold support and bounce again or you're going to come back lose support and start retracing and this is a, a dead cat bounce uh you're retracing up here dead cat bounce and you're continuing the wave down and would have lower targets but that's not happening at the moment. We are sort of forming some sort of, I think, some sort of bullish structure. And I do think potentially we could have the, in the in the near short term that run up to around 32, 33 cents, uh, of which has been a key sort of resistance area for, for Algo. Um, but again, for that to occur on the four hour time frame, I did say you have to break resistance. We do need to see a close above 28 cents today. Uh, to, to confirm that a close above 29 would be lovely uh, one more thing to point out that that, that shows we're running in, into previous resistance is right now if you look at the current price and where we're struggling to to break back above this was previous support since june okay that we was holding here for algo um we was holding the support you've lost it and now you're hitting that as resistance okay so if you keep hitting your head on resistance around this mark around 28 29 cents um you know the longer you hit your head on resistance the more likely you are to come further down and actually uh break through basically to the downside so are we is this a bear trap are we going to get a back back above hold support and look to retrace to this 32 cents or are we coming up to, to key resistance here and if we fail to break it, we start coming down and losing these lows and putting in newer lows to the downside. Either way, guys, be prepared. Uh, not financial advice from what I've said in this video, but I hope you enjoyed today's content. Just a short, short little update. Key points to take away. We need to close above 28 to 29 cents on the daily to start to see any sort of retracement to this 050 from this low to this high. At which point, if we do get a nice 17% relief rally here of some kind, I would expect resistance at this point and it would make a decision. As I said, once you break support, 
you have to come up, meet your technical target and then come back to it. If it fails to hold and bounce again and does start to lose, this is where you decide whether this was some sort of continuation to the downside or whether you've come up, held support and you're going to break out. Okay, so that's the key targets to take away. We need to see the close above 28 cents, 29 cents um, and, and we need to hold ascending support. At the end of the day as well, you do have this descending resistance on our heads that, that we need to see our grand start to, to break out of as well because you've hit that multiple times on the four hour time frame. So that's a key... Uh, I hope a key video for you to, of information for you to take away from Algo today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. Please do like, comment and subscribe. From Chartner TA, take care and peace out.